Hey YouTube, welcome back. How's everybody doing? Okay, my cozy little VMARS crew, we're gonna roll through the things and we can get on with it. Okay, so first things first, make sure you are subscribed, then hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload here. If you would like to check out some full length reactions, you can find those on my Patreon. It's linked down below along with a link to my main channel where you should also come hang out. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment down below, but no spoilers. Okay, bye. You will all be happy to know that we can now resume counting forward the way the way I was known and taught. I was just so worried about getting the order wrong. I'm like, I can't get it wrong. I have one job. <laughs> we did it. We, me and editing Darcy, we did it. No, but actually though, the last couple of episodes, little eventful, one could say, <laughs> which makes sense because I think that's like, that was like midway, midway through the season. So it's like, you know, you just step on the gas just a little bit just a little bit today it's like i kind of hope a lot of stuff happens obviously because we love our nuggets but i think specifically the keith seeing veronica talking to what's his face thing is going to be a bit before we revisit that and i still go back and forth and like is keith gonna like, I, he's going to say something to her, but I don't know. I still can't believe that, that happened. She just went for it. It was wild. <laughs> but the stabbing thing for uh, for our orange guy's dad, I think that we'll obviously have to talk about that today, right? I don't think he died, but would we be too upset if he did? Sorry. No, I don't think he died. He'll probably maybe be in the hospital but that was wild. <laughs> I can't. The last couple episodes were really good. And then, of course, what other nuggets are we going to get? I feel like we're getting closer to piecing together a bunch of stuff, but it's still so scattered. You know what I mean? Lily's death. Veronica's mom. The dad thing. I just... So much... <laughs> it's like I have to pick and choose what nuggets I want. I want a flashback. I want a flashback again because I miss Lily. Okay, I just miss her. But I wonder if today we'll mostly be focused on our orange guy and his dad and that whole thing. Maybe we'll do a mini mystery. Will we be doing that today? Well, let's put our detective hats on. And just see, shall we? Bevy check. I forget. Previously on Veronica Mars. I've got a secret. I know how close she was with Lily Kane. The truth is gonna come out. It doesn't add up. What are you doing? Why do you have Lily's name on your arm? There's a lot of Lily in the recap. She's demanding an audience with each of us hardest hit by Lily's death. I was oh. going to decline a session. Then I had a thought. I can't wait to get out of Neptune. <laughs> MIT, huh? Early admission. <laughs> the chessboard. Veronica, sorry to make you wait. You know you're never gonna come to terms with Lily's death if you keep all that pain bottled up inside you. I don't want to talk away my grief. I want to turn it into something else. Fuel. Veronica. Yeah, nervous habit. Uh -uh. I'll find closure when Lily's killer's rotting away in prison. Yep, yeah, real one, not the fake one. What did you do, Rick? The sheriff is here. Just want oh. Rick. He's in a coma, Rick. Don't talk to them, Rick. And you dropped, and I mean dropped, an unconscious Tim outside the Neptune Memorial ER. I didn't have a choice. Rick. I think you owe it to your friend to tell me who's making the fakes. We're not leaving this cozy little room until you give me a name. Veronica Mars. Why? I was going to stick up for you, Rick. We have reason to believe that you are manufacturing and distributing fake driver's licenses. Ooh, that's a new one. It's a second degree felony. I hate to disappoint you boys. Wait a minute, those aren't mine. Framed. Rick. I'm gonna need to search your purse as well. Oh, Either we can do this here smirk. or down at the station. <laughs> Does she have one? Fuck. Lily Kane's driver's license. Driver's license for. 22-year-old Veronica Mars. Oh, yeah. Those are mine. <laughs> You're suspended. We gotta call Dad. 
Posted your five hundred dollar bail. So, are we going to beat this rap? Well, possession—they've got you pretty cold on that one. Yeah. The stuff in your wallet is Mickey Mouse. It's the IDs in the locker that they care about. Except the only thing they have tying you to this supposed fake ID ring is the testimony of the other kid. What other kid? Your Rick. buddy Rick. Excuse me. Mm. Get him. Howdy, Rick. Do I know you? Tomorrow in school we talk. He'll be hearing from me. A year? I thought you were expelled. Spend. I need you to poke around and see if you can get me a fake ID. If you must seduce the head cheerleader in order to accomplish your mission, so be it. <laughs> How do I do that? Play on her insecurity. Yeah. I need you to get me a fake ID so I can get some fake action from a fake cheerleader. Please find out who else at school is making them. <laughs> Fake IDs are kind of funny to me, but I feel like up here, it wasn't really necessary for the most part. Like in terms of getting alcohol and cigarettes and stuff, you knew someone who was 18, cause it's only 18. So it's like, you know, half of the grade 12 students were 18. Usually for the most part, I had most of my friends, siblings were older. So it was like just easy to ask them to pick stuff up. So it like, wasn't really a thing. Like we didn't need it to just get alcohol or whatever but if we did want to go into the bar then we did <sighs> being a kid it's fun if you're breathing then you've heard you about aaron eccles getting ginsued at his own christmas party show me a hot chick and i'll show you guys tired of hitting that oh not me feeling bad for him my humble opinion your mom's totally hotter. Shh, the fucking ass. Get him. Get him, orange boy. <laughs> the same day Lily Kane died, a little girl went missing in my neighborhood. They found her body three months later. Why don't you call some of her rich white friends in here? You can act like what we had together meant nothing to you, but you can't stop me from loving you. For the rest of your life, wherever you go, I'll always be there. Just out of sight in the shadows. <gasps> Lily and Weevil? Her and Logan had just broken up. It is and uh, Lily, Lily swore to me that she'd never go back to him, but then... And she felt it too, I know she did. Why didn't Lily tell me about him? Was Weevil her big secret? That's right, Veronica didn't know. Back parking lot, fourth row. <laughs> Is anyone watching you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Super discreet. It's a secret society at school. Why haven't I heard of them? Stupid secret. question. Two weeks ago, I found a note in my locker. All the other pledges freaked out and left me there to take care of them, so I, I threw them in the car and I took them to the hospital as fast as I could. <laughs> so that's your defense? That you were just following orders? Eh, that doesn't cut it, Rick. I know that now, and I'm sorry. God damn it, Rick. You gotta believe me. You gotta do. <laughs> but how could I belong to a club that almost killed my best friend? Yeah, fuck All those I guys. want now is for the Tritons to go down. Let's take them down together. I want their names. Duncan? Harry Didden. Oh. Steve Vargo. Matt Barone. Duncan Kane. There it is. Perfect. That was only four. I guess he'd be five and Tim would be six. Okay, never mind. Ah! Yay, math! Oh, wow. Gadgets. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh! Look, oh. let's go. You're How long okay. Did I you keep smarting off, and I'll help arrange it. Is everything okay? Hi, Dad. Their case is fuzzy and circumstantial. <laughs> you know the odd thing? 
Those were also her very first words. <laughs> I think I've got a good lead on who's making the fake IDs. Tim's parents are suing. Us? And pretty much everyone else involved in their son's night of debauchery. Every bar in town is going to be named in the suit. Uh, yeah, some water would be good. Carrying around tablets? This, I can handle. But these... Okay. I've been trying to regain my family's trust. I can't blame Logan or his mother. I just... It's your fault. <clears throat> But then, this afternoon, the kid from my biology class comes in a second pack, buys a six pack for my boss like it was no problem. Did you figure out where he got his fake? Slow down. This is my story. <laughs> Followed him out to the parking lot. Here's how it works. You put your name in 250 bucks in locker 110, oh. first thing in the morning. Are you willing to put $250 into some strange locker just to see if this works? Yeah. Hell no. Oh. I'm using your money. <laughs> you view, set up a video cam. If all one has to do in order to procure a fake ID is slip cash into locker. Personal hygiene month? Now listen, I'm here for it. I think it's important. I think hygiene is important. But why do we have a display? A locked display of products? I kind of love it. It's like just have a look at the things you should be using. And then go buy your own. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go back because she's talking, she's talking things and I got so fucking distracted by a personal hygiene display. Listen, pay attention. According to Wallace, Locker 110 isn't assigned to anyone in school, but clearly someone has the combination. It stands to reason all I have to do is see who opens said locker. Then Wallace will drop the 250 in the mystery locker. Thanks for coming in, Logan. Oh. So the week Lily died would have been our second anniversary. I end up getting pretty hammered and <sighs> wind up kissing this other girl for like three seconds. You know, Veronica was my friend too. And if she hadn't ratted me out? Then Lily and I would have stayed together. And Lily wouldn't have been alone that day. I would have been there. So yeah, I blame Veronica. And I blame myself for being stupid, and I blame Lily for being a bitch that week. And what is so great about living? Actually, I planned on hitting a few bars. I found this little beauty in my locker oh. after seventh period. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> so this is a $250 piece of crap. <laughs> now I'm not just falsely accused, I'm genuinely offended. Yeah, quality is important. You doing karaoke? <laughs> Tim is in a coma right now because of what your secret club forced him to do. Can you live with that, Duncan? <sighs> the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. <laughs> you shall hear my voice once I've heard yours. <laughs> She's going to sing. Trite. This is so angel coded. She's a good singer. Veronica Mars. What was it? Love is an open door. Avril V. Sing Avril V. Perfect choice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Listen. <laughs> I want to know why you planted all those fake IDs in my locker. Who are you? Who are you? Jeff. He gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> he said he wanted to pull a prank on one of his friends. Damn. Great performance, though. There's no doing this thing halfway. We have to make sure what happened to Tim never happens again. Where are you going, Rick? What's he gonna say? It's like whenever I do anything, I, I can feel her there and she can see me. It it's like I'm never, ever alone. I sound like a total psycho. You sound like someone who lost his sister. Uh, I'm still taking the old standbys. What kind of episodes? I'm not stupid. What kind of medication? I remember Lily. I just don't remember what happened. I remember being at soccer practice that morning and it was three days later, and Lily was dead, and all that time in between was just... A blur? 
gone. Trauma? The secret knock? Hey! Oh! Hey! In broad daylight? Hey, Wallace, what you doing? She in a trunk? Uh huh. Yes, Dave Chappelle is great. Listen, the real reason I'm calling. <laughs> oh, thanks, Wallace. So that's why they installed those little things. I think you can get out of trunks now. Uh, Veronica, I'm a shoot. When you're born, we summon your awesome powers. That's freaky. Congratulations. I am pleased to say that this year all of the pledges have passed the Great Triton's test. Except for the kid who almost drank himself to death. And the kid you almost scared to death. Now that our sacred number is again six complete, of them there. Hi, everybody. Say repressed <laughs> homosexuality. <laughs> oh, nice. That was so superhero-esque. Match one of their faces in these shots with a frame of whoever picked up the 250 for your fake ID. But who is it? This doesn't make sense. Someone had to open that locker. How else could they have gotten the money? I know how it went down. Great. Can I go home? <laughs> Found out who's been selling the pictures. You're not gonna like it. His wife? I can't get much worse than it already is. Well, I thought, for a change, you might be interested in having the real criminal stand trial. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a seat in your lounge. And Thanks. I don't have time to wrongfully tamper with a government-issued document if I'm stuck here in your office. <laughs> I'll make you a little deal, Lamb. <laughs> By the end of the day, that kid will have a fake ID and you'll have yourself a crook. And I'll be sitting over here, chilling like a villain. They did the voiceover thing again. I don't know why, can you guys hear? Because it's in headphones, it's like very clearly, just like slightly different audio when she says locker one Post it, put it in the envelope, and have one of your minions drop it into locker 110. By the end of the it's day, different. that kid will have a fake ID. That's so weird. I hope you guys can hear it too. <laughs> it's one of them too. And now I'm scared for them. What was the plan? Destroy my career. Soften up public sentiment for a generous divorce settlement. Did it ever occur to you, I just want to hurt you like you've hurt me? You had private detectives following me. Only on location. No club memberships, no maid, and no friend. Hey, you say another word to her and I will kill you. I cannot take this anymore. Found the fake in his locker. Process of elimination. I didn't do it. How else do you explain the 250 in your wallet? Cough it up. Veronica Mars is smarter than me. Oh, you <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so this is Rick. How's it work, Rick? Nice. Your dad and your brother are tritons, but you didn't measure up, did you, Rick? But why me? Was it just yeah, because Rick. people would believe that I did it? Last year, your dad was hired to track down a hedge fund manager for embezzlement. That was my father. They took our house, they took our cars, Eventually, my parents got a divorce. You must be proud. I heard that guy Tim came out of his coma. Yeah. I'm sorry I came after the Tritons. And who are the Tritons? <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly is your mystery illness, Duncan? Requesting assistance for possible jumper on the Coronado Bridge. The abandoned vehicle is a red Dodge Viper, license plate Eccles 2, blocking the northbound lane. Roger that, 12. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Logues is about to get so much more fucked up. Now he's alone with his shit ass dad. <laughs> I thought his dad would be in the hospital. And he could have, they could have some free time without him, you know? Oh my god. She said I can't do this anymore or whatever. <sighs> well, okay, well, I'm like more scared for him now. The scene where he like talked about how he like blamed Veronica and then like blamed himself and then blamed Lily and like, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of got some insight into like, I guess everyone's feelings around Lily's death. 
Like Duncan just doesn't remember the days, day of and days surrounding. Weevil, I, I like, I guess I didn't forget. I just never really spent too much time thinking about how Veronica d like didn't know about Lily and Weevil. I wonder how that plays into everything. Did we get nuggets? I don't know. I guess. I guess. Yeah. They'll like that. Shit'll mean something somewhere. It just doesn't feel like too much of a nugget. It just kind of makes me sad. I don't know if I've said lately how much I just love Wallace. I think he's so funny. He's like they're just the perfect little duo. He's funny. They play off of each other really well. Yeah, I just enjoy him. Kind of hope he gets his own. Remember when he got a girlfriend and I was like, oh, like maybe it'll just. And then he didn't know he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. <laughs> also, just them two, just like working together and stuff, made me think about Mac and how I was like, oh, it'd be cool to like add a add a little trio, you know. And then uh, we haven't really heard from Mac. Fair enough. I guess it's just the two of them. Well, so now what with Logan? He's like talking out, or well, kind of talking out his grief about Lily. And now his mom's gone and his dad's a dick. Nothing really more in terms of like Keith and like the dad thing and like talking about that. Nothing really even in terms of piecing together more about Lily's death. I did like Veronica doing the digs at that cop guy though <laughs> that's always fun the fake id thing kind of cool though not my favorite of the mini mysteries but kind of interesting i guess Walls just has a fake id now i think he'll use it she did say it was shit but like i don't think they look too closely you know quick quick birthday glance <laughs> that's about it and hey we got some karaoke this episode that was fun. That was fun. She's a good singer. You know? Better than those guys were. Better than Duncan. By a long shot. I have a general question thought that I'm like, oh, remember that guy? <laughs> Sorry, mine never stays in any one thing, but I was going to say, remember that guy? Maybe Cameron? We didn't go there today but ow I just gotta remember him okay my thought question was do we think in regards to Lily's murderer that we've met them yet like is it someone in here <laughs> or cause I guess Oh, we've met a lot of people actually now that I'm just like rolling through some shit but I'm like I guess there's the possibility that like we haven't I'm thinking that because like okay this mini mystery what's his name from it was the very first guy that we met and then it ended up being him and I understand that's just like a mini mystery thing and that's happened in a lot of our mini mysteries but I'm like okay so was it I'm trying to think of like fucking back to episode one who did we meet, you know? I remember the cop. That sleazeball. I don't think it was him, though. I think I think he knows, or at least he knows he arrested the wrong person. But then the evidence and the shoe thing. Anyway. See, that's just a bunch of words put together. But my thought was, do we think we've even met who murdered Lily yet? Maybe they, because we just met, maybe Cameron. So maybe there's another person, like maybe Cameron? Well, damn. There may have been nuggets today, but not clear nuggets. So I feel nuggetless. I just feel sad for our orange boy. I still don't think it was him. I think I'm sticking to, like, way back in, like, episode one, two, three, when I was like, wasn't Duncan, wasn't orange boy, definitely wasn't Veronica, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's been a while since she's attempted to contact her mom and listen it was a little weird that what's her name the like guidance woman the like counselor woman not that she was talking to the other kids but talking to Veronica 
after dating her dad. It's like, I don't know, maybe we should get... I just feel like it's a conflict. <laughs> but listen, for now, we will wrap this one up here. I'm going to go take a shower because I was highly inspired by the hygiene display. So, I'm also just cold. Anyway, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!